So your your message to you, you championed gospel artists mm -hmm. tonight, uh, and it's something you've done. You've given opportunities mm -hmm. to gospel artists to be on stage with you. Uh, for a lot of them, they actually will prefer to be where you are because you know the accolades, the big crowds. Mm -hmm. What would you say to gospel artists mm -hmm. who are you know in the trenches doing the grind? Um, it's that's a that's a. Yeah, man. I think I, I I said it to the artists out there when when we spoke at the end. I think it's easy for me to say from my perspective and from where I stand, but it's like I don't know. I look at them and I admire them so much because they're just wholeheartedly and unashamedly like saying I am a. Because even away from a gospel artist, it's like I am an I am a God artist. Like I'm an artist of God. Like I'm an artist who who. All I sing and all I rap about and all I and all I do in my music is channel God, which for me is just the most. That's the bravest. That's the most gangster. That's just. That's just. That's 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 hard. Like to me, I look at that like from where I'm standing as an artist, and I look at that and I say, no, that's that's ten star, hundred percent top bins level of bravery and level of purpose, do you know what I mean? To be ordained by God to say like I'm in his kingdom, making music for him and him alone and that feels good to their spirit like and it, it's I just I just encourage them to keep going. I encourage them to to find to find where where they sit in, in their world and in their culture and to just thrive there. And should to never see it as like a niche. Like Governor B was on stage and he was saying that sometimes gospel as a genre of music is often sidelined and often seen mm -hmm. as like this thing here and I, I encourage them to to reject that do you know what I mean as Governor B is doing as all these artists are doing that reject that notion that like gospel is this kind of side genre you got all these big mainstream genre and then gospel's just here in the corner just reject that and, and reject that in everything they do reject that in their decisions reject that in how they walk reject that in how they talk reject that in the moves they make and just make their whole energy being about gospel is massive because the God they serve is massive. Do you know what I mean? So we, we did some work and discovered that culture is affected by pop culture, pop culture by pop music. Pop music at the heart of it is black, has black music driving it. Mm -hmm. Black music at the heart of it has gospel, gospel yeah, music driving it. Uh, and so we concluded it's, it's more than music, it's a message and it's a culture. Mm -hmm. When you hear those words, gospel music is it's, it's it's music it's message it's culture mm. what pictures come in your mind what do you think when I think of gospel music yeah. ooh. it's message it's culture the music what pictures flash in your mind oh that's a great question oh, I, oh, I don't know the first person I saw was Tasha Cobbs ooh. I don't know I, why why Tasha Cobbs there's UK artist now no I, I just you asked the question and I thought <laughs> When the first thing that pops into my mind when I think of that, like, and maybe that's because, like, I don't know, American, American gospel against British gospel. They say, I feel like with with most black genres, any any genre that's kind of black encompassing, you look, we look at our American counterparts, whether it be like British hip hop, we look at the American, and it's like, wow, you lot do it on a on a grander scale because they're further along the road than us. But like, yeah, I like, I would, I would love to see more concerts like this I would love to see artists just rise and I would love for, for things to just thrive do you know what I mean because I feel like there is no way that God's anointing and God's blood is and God's God's ordained everyone to do something and it's meant to sit in nah man it's, I, I reject that and I think all these artists who are performing here are here to reject that as well and of course it's tough I get it like it's it's tough and it's sometimes it feels like do you know what I mean there, there might not, there might not be as many people listening as you want to, but oh, I said it to them. This is God's work, man. This and finally, um, when the journey is done and your epitaph has been written, what would you like to be written on your epitaph? What would you like to be remembered for? Someone who fulfilled their purpose. Yeah, that's it. Like, and I, and I, I don't. I know that I'm living it and I know that I'm like, I pray that, I pray that like I'm doing the right things to fulfill it. But 
I always say that with me, I know my purpose uh, through God, but then also my purpose changes as as I grow. Do you know what I mean? Like what I was, what what I was, what God ordained me to do in 2010 should be. Do you know what I mean? Or it might be different next year. So I just pray that when it's all said and done, there's a there's a song, um, Donny McClurkin. Donny McClurk and all I ask, and all we ask, all we ask. And at the end, it's such a it's such a beautiful lyric. But at the end, he says, um, he says, and I just hope that, that when I get to heaven's gates, I just hope that God says, "Well done." Mm-hmm. And I, I always used to hear the lyric, and I used to think that's a, that's a funny sentiment to think you, you you pass away, then you get to God, and but I guess that's what it is, isn't it? You hope that you God sees you, and He says, "Well done." That you you done life and. Of course, there was some downs that he ain't gonna like. There, what, there was some ups that he really cherished, and I just I pray that when all is said and done, God says, "Well done, kid." <laughs>